Hi friends, I'm Jeffy G. Welcome back to another episode. We're gonna take a look at Dreamer by Dream Date Designs. It's a multi-sampler that holds up to eight samples, has tremendous capabilities. You're really gonna like it. And best of all, it's free. In the evolution of sound design, samplers really took over for synths, starting in the early 90s and became very popular because of their ability to record acoustic sounds and reproduce those sounds so accurately. Now that's assuming that your goal is to reproduce acoustic sounds. <laughs> Fast forward to today and we have multi-samplers with new capabilities. And there's a couple popular ones you've probably heard of. There's Cube by Lunacy Audio. And if you've got Logic, there's Alchemy Sampler. But Dreamer fits into an interesting niche here. It has a lot of the capabilities of those major products and more. What I like about it is the ability to experiment. And where samplers in the past were used to recreate organic or acoustic sounds, now they're being used for experimental sounds, some really modern, interesting things that you can do that are based on using samples as just your starting point. Dreamer is a sample-based contact instrument, so you'll need the contact player, which is free. There's the ability to arrange or layer up to six samples, really eight, plus there's some amazing effects. And it'll work with contact in any DAW. It's divided into sections. The first section up at the top, the eight potential slots for your samples. The next section shows you the waveform. If you click on the upper triangle, it'll give you the parameters for how that waveform is going to be played. The key, the start, the speed, We'll go over some of these in detail. Then below that, you've got a pretty extensive list of effects that can be applied. Filter and limiter are always in slot one and eight. And then in slots two through seven, you can pick and choose what kind of effects you want. Okay, here's a list of all the effects you can choose from. Whenever you select an effect, all of the parameters for managing that effect are shown in the middle section. Cutoff, resonance, drive, LFO. If I choose a different effect, I, I get a different set of parameters. So there's a lot of emphasis here on managing the effects. Then down at the bottom in the last section are the global settings. The MIDI channel that the sample will start at, in this case it defaults to C1, whether it auto selects the next sample. Then the key will depend on the melodic value of the sample that you're using. So if I go up here and I look at sample number one, see that there is no key assigned to that because it's a drum beat and it isn't melodic specific. But if you do assign a sample to a key, you can use this transposition capability. It'll automatically adjust or transpose your samples depending on the key of the song that you're playing in. Whether you have monophonic playback turned on or off is an option. And quantize will quantize rhythmic sounds to match the BPMs of your DAW. Hey, if you want to download Dreamer, you're probably not going to find this in your fridge. So look at the link up above or in the description, go to their website, download it. Let's look at some presets. This group called Dreamer Intro are all the presets that come standard. So let's just choose one here. Let's choose Rustic Sundern. This one's made up of four different samples. <laughs> Let's just go over some of the parameters for each sample, how it plays back. So in this example, I have four samples. None of them have been assigned a key. Where the sample starts playing, you can control that by this dial or by just dragging that orange bar to where you want the sample to start. You've got speed and whether you want it to reverse or not, you can turn that off or on and pitch. Now by default, when you change the speed, the pitch does not automatically change. It stays the same pitch, which is what you want. Unless you turn this speed pitch feature on, in which case increasing the speed will also increase the pitch of the sample. There are three modes to playback, a latch mode where when you press the trigger key it's going to play the sample through to its end. There's an envelope mode where the ADSR or quasi ADSR features for attack will be executed. And there's a sustain mode which is the default where pressing down the key will execute the sample for the length of the sample or as long as you hold down the key. <laughs> The volume and pan at the end apply to each sample individually. The assortment of effects will apply to the all of the samples. Let's walk through some of the presets.
By now you've come to realize that you can use this in several different ways. You can use the same sample repeatedly layered with different start points and different speeds to create a really thick layered effect. Or you can use experimental techniques where you play some parts of a sample in reverse, some parts in forward. Effects are applied in some dynamic ways. Hey, why am I hyped about Dreamer? Well, just as the title implies, it is this creative tool that seems to be expansive. Whenever I come across something that is free, but really powerful, I get all excited. The idea of using multiple samples, having them execute in a layered way or sequentially or in any way you want, forward, reverse, different speeds, all of these options just seems to be a new palette for sound design. And it's not just Dreamer because this is going on with other tools too. So what a great way to get started, right? Now, if you're interested in more presets, take a look at their website. All the presets are listed there. They're at a reasonable price. I'd encourage you to buy them and support Dream Date Design. And if you come up with some of your own presets based on your own samples and you want to share those, make sure you let those guys know. And hopefully you found this video useful and interesting. And if you did, click on the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and let me know your comments. I always appreciate feedback. If you've got other tools that are like Dreamer, let me know about them. I'll check them out. Thanks very much for watching. You'll have a good time. <laughs> what do I mean? What am I talking about? It's not like you're going to a party or something.